This is Interceptor 1. It's going down. I repeat, the bogey is going down. Sorry I used the security phone, sir, but I couldn't risk a leak. That's all right, Max. My golf game's not what it used to be. I don't know where to begin, sir. This is going to sound crazy, but I think that we have it. Now, Max, what could be worse than invading Europe? After you, sir. Brief me. It entered our airspace last night and made a mockery of our intercept squadron. And according to the pursuit pilots, it suffered a malfunction and crashed in the desert. I see. Was there a crew or any survivors? Well, the eggheads found the remains of two creatures and pulled the engine out of the saucer. As usual, they want time to study. Has the uh, press gotten wind of this yet? We don't think so, sir. But we can't keep this on ice indefinitely. Get rid of it. Right away, sir. So, what I've attempted to do here this year is to instill in you a basic scientific curiosity about the world that we live in. Sherman, tell me about your science project. 
Uh, well, Mr. Roberts, I've done a study on the accuracy and foundation of the Gregorian calendar in relation to the vernal equinox. Good. Good. Ellie, Sawyer, tell me about you. Well, Mr. Roberts, I'm doing the... Um, I want you to listen now. Um, I'm doing the effects of ultraviolet rays on plant fungus. That's out of sight, <laughs> Ellie. Uh, would you call me Bob? Because only, uh, only the pigs call me Mr. <laughs> uh... You're not getting away with that. Harlan! Why don't you tell us about your science project? What? This is science class. Uh, your science project? I'm working on it. You're working on it. Hey, Mike. Ciao, babe. How, how is it that two weeks before graduation, a man of your mechanical capabilities hasn't finished his science project? I mean, how do you, how do you explain that? I've been, I've been working double shift down at Charlie's garage, and it cuts into my free time. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Well, you know, I don't make the rules around here, right? But uh, bottom line, golden rule, no project, no diploma, man. But I thought maybe I could, uh, I don't know, rebuild a carburetor or something, if that's okay. Now, come on, Harlan. You do that in your sleep. Do something special, something original. Come on, man. And don't forget your science final tomorrow. Hey, man, I don't like to hassle you, Mike. You know that? Have a nice day. A nice day? Yeah. Come on. I used to be your age once, way back in the 60s, when all you need to finish school was a Frisbee. The gas mask help. <laughs> See you later, Bob. Protest songs, white rabbits. TNT in there, ain't it? Take TNC. <laughs> says that today is the day. So I'll get rid of him. Hey, right. Crystal. How you doing, huh? Michael, I can't keep this mink wheel anymore. What? Why not, huh? We must seek different destinies, Michael. Our song is over. Fine. Comprende? No, 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 no. Wait a second. Come on, talk English, will you, Crystal? Huh? Michael, you're more interested in your stupid old GTO than you are me anyway. Wait a second, what are you talking about, huh? I mean, whose name comes on my fender, huh? Yours, right? Don't we go out all the time? Right. Don't we? Right, Michael. We go to car shows and drag races so? and junkyards. So what? That's not what I want. Oh, no, so, 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 so what do you want, Crystal, huh? Him? Michael, I want to be swept off my feet, serenaded, worshipped like a oh, come goddess. On. Come on, bullshit. That is exactly what my Cosmo Romanticope said you'd say, Michael. Ta-ta forever, monkey wrench. Ro Romanticope? Ellie, I, I know it's short notice and everything, but I was wondering, you know, maybe you want to go to the prom? <laughs> Look, Sherman, can we talk about it later? Okay? Sure. Gotcha! What are you doing? Hey, Finally, I on. can't believe it. Now I need some information from you, okay? You just pull the plug, will you, huh? Look, you're the last picture for the yearbook, and I need some stats from you now. Hey, Look, hey, sorry, hey, wait, you know you got wait. lousy timing. I know. Hey, just don't pay any attention to Look, her. I know it's a flaw in my character, and I'm working on yeah. it. Now what's your sign, Harlan? Pontiac. Bimbo leaves Harlan in limbo. <laughs> Makes a great yearbook headline, don't you think? <laughs> Hey, news flash update. I dumped Crystal, all right? <laughs> that is not what I heard. <laughs> oh, no? No. <sighs> OK. What do you want to know, huh? Your major? Yeah. <sighs> major. Uh, I don't know. Auto shop. Favorite video game? Uh, World Series. Are you into computers? All right, how many times do you Jedi? Yeah, in cars. I never saw Jedi. Come you on. never saw Jedi? Have you been under a car for 10 years, Harlan? Huh? <laughs> what? All right, what do you like? What do I like? I like uh, cars. I like uh, 
Springsteen, like, uh, like goat, you know? Goat? Yeah. Okay, yeah, but... But what? What do you do in your spare time? Cars. Bye. What goat? I want you. Hey, yo, Mike! Mike! So what's the dish, cousin Fish? Come on, what happened? Tell me, talk to me, what happened? What? With who? With Crystal. I don't believe this. What, everybody know about this but me? Look, look, I seen this dynasty where this guy got a girl back with a chihuahua fur coat, huh? Ben, she doesn't want a fur coat, all right? She doesn't even want me. Oh, yeah? Well, what does she want? I don't know. She wants to be, uh, you know, romanced. Swept off her feet. Swept off her feet? Yeah, I just swept her off her feet, all right, with a left. Hey, a girl pulls that back in Brooklyn, I swear. Bam on. Oh, wow. Okay, Vince. Hey, you're cool. You're cool, right? You're cool, huh? Yeah. I'm cool. I don't know, Vince. Crystal. Why can't women be like cars, you know? I mean, you put gas in a car and you cruise. I'm trying to treat that girl nice and she leaves me in the dust. You know? My old man says, treat broads like dirt and they love you. Oh, yeah? What's your old lady say? Come on. Oh, my parents are divorced. That's oh. how come I'm living out here in the sticks with the old man. Right. Hey, hey, what did Sawyer want? I don't know. Yearbook stats. Hey, I hit on Sawyer once. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I tried to give her this Italian macho bot. <laughs> What'd she do? Poor girl lost out. She called me a word I had to look up in the dictionary. Hey, psych majors are nothing but trouble, Mike. Lay yeah. off. I'm serious. Okay, okay. Hey, check this out. You know, I put in these new lifters. Yeah. Blow Matuski away from Yeah, Matuski's a fag. Yeah. Oh, that's huh? Death, man. Huh? That's death. Let's go. Hey, come on, Sawyer. Confession time. I need you to save me from being voted senior class spinster. What? Be a Boy Scout and give me a date. Okay, Sawyer. Pick you up at eight. Be outside, all right? Wait, outside? Don't you want to meet my yeah, parents? Yeah, outside. Uh-uh, no way. Obviously, you're better with cars than you are with people. Hey, look, Sawyer, if you don't want to do this, it's fine. I mean, you can go study or something. Uh, no, Harlan, really. I'll be outside at eight. Fine. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, one more thing. Do you read that mag, uh, Cosmo? That rag? Are you kidding? Good. Uh, Harlan. What? The name's Ellie, not Sawyer, okay? Right. 
Ellie. Hey, let's move it! Now let's move it for ya! Let's we go straight to the worm! Move the heap, Jonan! Get it out of the way! I didn't expect you home so early. I, I got uh, t takeout here. Why don't you uh, grab yourself a table? Oh, uh, that's okay. <coughs> oh, uh, Mike, I'd like you to meet uh, Dolores. She's the sales representative for... Uh, 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 Betty Jo. Betty Jo uh, at Cosmetics. How do you do, Michael? Oh, hi. I'm just so pleased to make your acquaintance. Yeah, I gotta get going. I got a date. Um, I'll just, uh, I'll just take a beer. Uh, it's nice meeting you, Louise. Come on, Steve. Come on. Hi, Joe, Michael. Wake up. Come to your all Louise. testing ground. Now they just dump all their old junk here. I thought you'd like it. I mean, you want to be a reporter, don't you? Yeah, or a psych. But what's that got to do with anything? Look around. Everything here's got a story behind it. Yeah. You know, you're right. I, I never really thought about it. I need a project to graduate. I can't do anything scientific. What I can do is, is restore old machines. So I figured, you know, I might be able to find something that I could pass off as my science. Oh, oh, oh. Michael! Michael, are you okay? Yeah, yeah, Say I'm something! Okay. Just get that light out of my eyes, will you? Sorry. Radioactive fallout. Michael, what happened? What 
Please keep your voice down. Okay. Get out of here. No way. I am not setting foot on that ratty ground. The worst things in rats, you know. Oh, yeah, such as what? Hey! You can! Hold it right there! Jail. Come on. died. Doesn't make sense. I just turned this thing. What's going on? Hey, look, don't ask me. You're the car nut. Oh. 
Lucky we're close to town. Oh, yeah? How's that lucky? Well, because we can walk. Not me. What? What are you talking about? I'm staying here. <sighs> staying here? Why? Well, first of all, I never leave my goat out here, all right? Secondly, if, if I walked into town, the whole world would know I broke down. And I... <sighs> Come on, it happens to everybody. Yeah, well, not to me. Then why are we standing here? Hey! Hey! Oh, thanks. Are you okay? Yeah, yeah. I got a little car problem. Can I use your radio? Sure. Uh, can I get Channel 18? Yeah. Hello. Oh, Vinny. Brooklyn boy, Brooklyn boy. Vinny, you uh, oh. Red Goat here, you read me? Brooklyn boy, read me? Oh, whoa, whoa, time out, time out, time out. Wait a minute, wait, wait. Mike, is that you? Yeah, yeah, it's me. Listen, I, uh, I got an SOS, okay? Uh, five miles north of town on 73. Do you read me? Hey, I'm coming, I'm coming, chill out. Hey, Vinny. Hey, my partner needs me. Come on, we're out of here. So what am I, kryptonite? You want a sip? I don't like beer. <sighs> right. Sawyer and Carly. <laughs> Wait till Crystal finds out about this. Reeny, zip it up, huh? Uh... Hey, you punk, move that piece of junk up the <laughs> Sit on this, butt plug. <laughs> What's next, right, Drew? Drunk? Not now. I'm not in the mood no more. You'll be begging me later. If you're lucky. Motorhead Mike broke down, huh? Uh, yeah. Wait till we spread that around school. I, I had a really neat time tonight. Sure you did. No, no, really, it was, um... It was a surprise. Like you, Harlan. Hey, Ellie. Michael. Okay. Okay. Michael. Good night. Night. Let's go, Vinny. Yo, blasting off. Bet you had dibs on Sawyer. Sure. Uh, look, do we have a deal or what? Well, uh, messing with Harlan and Tonto, that's gonna cost you. How much? One video cassette. Turn paper. Science project. You got it. <laughs> <laughs> let's go, let's go. Perfect date, Vinny. 
You ain't exactly been the perfect date, Rini. Since when? Since it's 10 o'clock and you still ain't turned into a pepperoni pizza. <laughs> well, you can just drift, hum hole. The sock ain't fooling anyone. Poor girl. Ugh. You know, I seen this movie where this haunted car flames guys out. Yeah. I wonder what the hell shorted out the electrical system. I mean, look at the starter. It's totally shot. Uh, I swear, somebody's got it in for you, Mikey. Yeah, pisses me off. I remember this Mannix, where these dudes are after this other dude, right? So the dudes put a stick of dynamite in the first dude's car. So when he turns the ignition, all of a sudden... It gets flamed, right? Oh, you've seen it too? <sighs> hey, what's this piece of junk? I don't know. I uh, found it out at old Dawson Field. I figured maybe I could shine it up and pass it off as my science project. Yeah, well, good luck. You'll need it. Yeah. Thanks for helping me out, Vinny. Hey, no sweat. I'll see you at the brain press tomorrow. Okay, take it easy. Yeah, night. Night. Somebody's definitely got it in for you, Mikey. Oh, uh, yeah? Like who, huh? Some low-octane type. Crystal, maybe. Vinny? Holy shit. Look at this. Oh my god. Ah, you all right? Yeah. So, what do you think it is? I don't know. Could be an engine or something. Yeah, but an engine to what? I wonder what this thing runs on. Unleaded. Maybe premium. Oh, shut up, Billy. Holy smoke, my box! Ah. What the hell happened, huh? I don't know. Brand new batteries. Yeah. Oh, that pisses me off. Hey, look, go get that battery. Bring it over here, would you? I want to run some juice through this thing. All right, move, move. Okay, hook it up. Why me? Because if it blows up in your face, you got nothing to lose. Okay, move out of the way, huh? Where should I put this? Uh... Mm, be careful. Oh, shit! Oh, man! Yo, put that thing out, huh? Put it out! It's gonna blow up, man. It's gonna have to be getting out of here. Holy smoke. What's it doing, huh? Hey, bitch. What was that noise? Look, look, look. Yeah, you're disconnected. Yeah, you disconnected. I'll watch. What's it doing? Vince? Weird. Oh. 
Well, well hallucinate, right? Oh. No auto limit I ever seen at this stuff. What do we do? We're disconnected. Come on. You disconnected. Come on. I'll watch. Go ahead, I'll, I'll stand guard. show in which the Egyptian vase just happens to give it a rest. Okay. Yeah, sure, I'm cool. I'm, I'm cool. Yeah. Yeah, we'll be all okay. okay. Come on, yeah. man. Yeah. We'll work yeah. on the car. I'm gonna work on the car. Yeah. Hey, you think we should tell somebody? No, not until we figure the schizmo out. Oh, come on, we're gonna be late for the science finals. Grab that thing. Ugh. Just grab it, Vince. Come on. Hey, put that on there. That's good. That's good. It's weird. Wait a second. It's gotta be wrong. Oh, yeah? So how come everybody's leaving like school's over? I don't know. Stay tuned. We went two hours into the future. What? Then... Life in the fat lane, huh? <laughs> Vince Latello, comedian. Mm. What are you guys lost or something? No, we're not lost, Sherman. Okay, we came for a, for a book. A car book? I can't. No, not a car book. A book about um, um, strange things. Like Vince. Hey, Sonia Nora, Dick knows. Hold me, Vince. Vince. Take it easy. All right, now look, Sherman. All right, we just want to find this book, so help us out, okay? Okay. Okay. What kind of strange things? Uh, sort of like stuff, uh, stuff vanishing and then stuff coming back in from other times, right? And you can see the stuff, but you can't touch it, right? Because it, uh, because it kind of disappeared. Yeah, like you, Palm Slime, if you flap your fish lips again. Well, you know, that sounds like magic, which is a no, section no, 794. No, no, it's not magic, right? Magic's make-believe. Yeah, we're talking about the flip side of reality here. Well, uh... This is the science section. It's about as real as you can get. <laughs> what, uh, what's the title? What? Author. Well, I don't know. Well, uh, what's it about? Uh, monsters and flying lawnmowers and weird kind of no, shit. No, 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 no. See, it's, it's about these two guys, right? They go into this room, and these things come in and out of the walls. Like, Sounds weird, all right. Yeah, but see, the point is when these two guys leave this room, Two hours into the future. Right, only it felt like it was ten minutes yeah. uh, to the two guys, you see what I'm saying? Well, now that sounds like we're dealing with a time-space warp. A time-space what? Warp. A time-space warp. Now, how's it work? Simple. You see, it's kind of like breaking through the barriers between time, space, and all dimensions. Hey, you mean outer space? Yeah. Right. So what, I assume they're all connected? Precisely. You see, they coexist within the same space on different planes of reality, that's all. So like, it's like something can warp in from one dimension to another, right? Sure, but only if the warp got out of control. Be out of control how? Well, Einstein theorized it would take tremendous power to break through a dimension barrier. And the danger is that once you unleash the power, you'd lose control of it. Yeah, and then, then what? Earth's energy field would go crazy. Chain reaction could start. Weather could change. And boom! <laughs> You're all cosmic dust! <laughs> hey, Mike. Banks. What? We go into a bank, we point the gizmo at the greenery, and bam, it vanishes into our car. We make a fortune. I swear, you know, sometimes your pilot light is out. Oh, yeah, well, what do you say we do with it? Hey, it's my science project, remember? I'll turn it in, get my diploma, and I'm gonna kiss this school goodbye. Oh, you're pulling my zucchini. Oh, you got a better suggestion, huh? Yeah. I say we sell it to 60 Minutes. 60 huh? Minutes, huh? I know. Dude, 
Bueller. Look, there he is. There hey. he is. Hey, Bob. Yo, Bob. Listen up. About the, uh... You guys cut my science fine. No, no, no. What's no, with no, you no. guys? Where were you? Well, we, we got kind of hung up in the auto shop, you yeah, know? Yeah, in the old zone. In the old like... zone, flow zone. I'm tired of you 4Fs. I want to tell you one thing. Unless your project is Dino Supreme, you both get Ds. Hey, I'll take it. See, Bob, that's what I want to talk to you about. My science project, you know? I was, I was wondering maybe if, if you could come by tonight and take a look at it, huh? I'm off to an anti-war alumni meeting, and I'm late. Can you dig it? Bob, come on. I mean, you're the only one who understands this. Hey, don't bend on it, kiddies. It's a break, all right? I'll be here tonight grading papers at 9 o'clock. 9 o'clock? So how come you didn't tell him, huh? Tell him what? We got a door to the Twilight Zone? Yeah, you're gonna blow his doors off with this information. Yeah. Hey, you got any change, Vinny? Hey, school tax, jellyfish. Come on, come on, come on. Here, drift. He had to take a leak. <laughs> Hello? Hey, Ellie, it's me. Michael. Oh, hi, Michael. Uh, I was wondering if maybe you might want to go out with me tonight. Sure, I I'd like to go out tonight. Great. Could you bring your camera? My camera? Michael, we're not going to go to another junkyard, are we? The great life. <laughs> All mine. like the color scheme. <laughs> Dolores did it. Do you remember Dolores? Oh, hello, Michael. It's just so lovely to see you again. Lovely. Lovely. I hardly recognize the place. Shouldn't have gone off to Reno to get married like a couple of lustic puppies. Don't worry, Sugar Plum. I'll have a talk with him. <sighs> you are going to come in and socialize with your new stepmother. Do I make myself clear? Press these two things, right? 
See those lights? Weird, huh? Yeah. Now listen while I pull these levers out. I'm back. What is that light? Wow. Pretty amazing, huh, Bob? It's incredible, huh? Psychedelic. Yeah. Go on, touch it. Yeah? Yeah? Go ahead. Wow. What we should do first is uh, find out what kind of metal this is. Did you ever see my Neo Spectre? Metal wow. Spectre? That's this, huh? Well, it's unreal. I mean, uh, it doesn't, uh, it doesn't show up on our Metal Spectre. I mean, it's some sort of, uh, it's some sort of power plant. Oh, you hear that, Mike? It's an engine. An engine for what? Now, wait a second. Where did you guys find this? I mean, where, where did you dig this up? Uh, well, Michael found it over no. at the... I found it at the, um, at the old junkyard outside of town, Sam's place. Well, I'd like to know how it got there. I'd like to know whose it was. I mean, this, I mean, this is generating power and light without heat, Michael. How is that possible? It's not possible. It's not on this world anyway. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What other world are we talking about here? Hey, look, this has got to be broken. Go get that battery over there, okay? Wait, Bob, why wouldn't that be broken? broken? Because if it isn't broken, Michael, this is older than Earth, yeah. all right? Well, wait a second, Bob. Just wait until you see this. Hook it up, Vinny. Oh, no, I'm not going to hook it up. You hook it up. You hook it up. I hooked it up last time. No, no, I'm not going near this thing. You hook it up. Vinny. Wait, wait, wait. I'll hook it up. Okay, Bob. No, no, it goes on these things right there. Ozzy Osbourne concert. Can you imagine the advanced alien civilization that created this? I mean, this is, uh... This is bigger than all of us. I mean, it's... Uh, this is, uh... And this is bigger. Bigger than any of us. This is bigger than the planet. It's, uh... It's even bigger than the solar system. Wait a second, Bob. Is this like when you told us we could smoke banana peels? <laughs> oh, ye of little faith. And what is it, Bob? What is it? I'll tell you what it is. It's a time-space warp that's created by this gizmo that will warp something into our dimension or we can travel through time and space. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah! Let's call People Magazine. No. Hey, I vote we tell the police about this. The pigs. No pigs. No. Uh-uh. No. Come on, unhook it, Vince. No, no, no! Don't you touch that fence. This is an implosion meltdown. Whoa, whoa, it slimed out the battery. What should we do, Bob? Do? I'll show you what we'll do. No, no, no. Do. Yeah. Oh. Oh. I feel, feel it, infinity, wow! 
What a rush! No! What a rush! <laughs> Break the connection. The gizmo can't reach the power station, right? And nobody will know anything. So what's the plan? We black out town. Black out town. <laughs> but how? Blow up the power lines outside of town. Demolition. <laughs> Keep it down, all right? The old man's upstairs. Michael, isn't this just a bit dangerous? Forget the danger, man. Think of the fun. like Gregory Peck in the Guns of Navarro. Latello! All right, hold your horses here. Whoa, whoa. Okay, capture the dynamite. Dynamite to the legs. You got it, Ellie? Yeah, okay, capture the dynamite. Dynamite to the legs. I got it. Hey, Vince? Capture the legs, legs to the dynamite. Come on! Hey, good thing I watch TV, huh? <laughs> Come on! Ellie, hurry up. Okay! You know <laughs> Here it is. Hook it up. No, no, I'm not gonna hook it up. You hook it up. Latello, come on. Okay, okay, chill out, chill out. Legs, 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 legs! Come on. Come on. Please, Michael, do it. Okay, get down. Come on. Ready? Open, come on, open. Get 
months ago. How do we get the gizmo out of the high school and pass the fuzzballs? Damn! Police! Those maggots. Come on. Michael, don't you think we should tell the police? Tell them what? Simple. We flamed our science teacher and sent him into a war. What are we gonna do? About one to five with good behavior. Finny. Hey, this is me. Yeah, okay. So, you're cool, I'm cool, we're cool. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Hormonal disturbance. Um, I, I've got to go. Good night. Ellie? Ellie? I was, um, I was just thinking. How come we, uh, how come we spent four years in the same class and never even talked to each other? I don't know. Maybe because you lived under cars and I lived in books. Yeah. Good night. and with people. I guess it's because I trust them more than I do people. Maybe you've just been trusting the wrong people, Michael. Yeah. Yeah, I have been. Detective Jack Nolte. Hey, I didn't do nothing. Hey, Dad, what is all this, huh? Michael, I told Detective Nolte everything I knew about the break-in, but he insisted on talking to you. 
Well, hell yeah. I haven't had a real good case in a long time, and I ain't about to piss this one away. Know what I mean, kid? <sighs> yes, yeah, uh, it's your job, right? That's what I like to hear. Don't worry about nothing, honey. I'm gonna take care of everything. Now, you're gonna need a court order for this. What's the charge? Oh, yeah, what's the no charge? charge yet. I got three eyewitnesses that put you at the high school tonight. There's this uh, little business about stolen dynamite. And uh, where's your pal, that ex-yippie science teacher, Bob Roberts? Uh, I don't know. That a fact? Yeah, I don't well, know. Well, I'll tell you what, Michael. How about you and me take a little ride down to the station? Station four. I'm enjoying the conversation. Come on, Wait a minute. I, I'm going with you. Right by me. This is bring our the wedding wife, bring night. The bring the whole family. Is it okay if I put my jacket? Huh? Is that okay, mister? Fine by me. Thank you. Thank you. to the police station. Just do it, all right? Uh, Michael! Look, Detective Nolte, take Latello, find him. He's a delinquent anyway, but don't have time for never this done right anything. What's your name? Michael. Look, Michael just what? tell the sergeant all your personal information. Don't do it, Michael Arlen. Hey, that's him right that's there! Him. Hey, you reach, Reds, you kiss your asses goodbye. It'll be just about enough out of you, Paul. Hey, chill out, Mr. Spock. Look, I don't even know what I'm doing here. Mike, what's happening? Tell me a little fairy story about this, boys. to remain silent you give up the right to remain silent anything you say can and will be held against you in a court of law okay mcleod you have the right to an attorney are up to. And I am warning you, Ellie, they are in big trouble. So you better get out of here before the police find out you're involved. But don't worry. I'll cover for you. I'll say, uh, I'll say harm force. Oh, Sherman, get out of my room. Wait. So this is what they were talking about. It's none of your business, Sherman. Now get out of my room. What way. is this thing? Leave it alone. You don't understand. It's, it's dangerous. You could wind up in another, another dimension. What's the matter? I got boogers? Huh? Hey, kid. Why do you wear sunglasses at night? Because when you're cool, the sun shines on you 24 hours a day. Oh, yeah? <laughs> Chill out, Butch. And get a shave. <sighs> the kiss mama. Ellie's at school. We gotta get it. Let's jam. Let's jam. Hey, hey, hey. I've always wanted to do this. Maybe it's the school. You got it. Go speed race, 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 go speed race
Wind up in another dimension like Barbarino. I'm going in there packing. <laughs> Good luck. Oh no 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 no! This is no time to be sitting around sucking snot. After you, lunch meat. Oh no! We'll never come back. Uh oh! Something tells me we ain't in Kansas no more, Toto. You see, I told you guys, the warp's expanding. And look, it's people from the past and the future. And we're all here together. This is like a this is like a crossroads of time and space. Yeah. Wow. I don't believe this, do you, Mike? Oh. Unreal. Hey. Oh. Radar her. I know. Makes great sex. <laughs> I'll check you guys out later. Let's go. We don't have time. Hey, Come on. Look, these are optical delusions, like ghosts. So it's cool. <laughs> Here comes Latello. Yo. <laughs> Son of a bitch! What do you call this, Wawa? Actually, I think you caught her. A Neanderthal man. Yeah, well, I don't care what country he's from. One shot in the chones and he's down. Oh, I don't believe this. I could be at home watching Magnum. Stop whining, Latello. Come on, let's whining. go. Whining? Barney Rubble just tried to flame me out. Hey, you guys, wait up! Vinny, come on! Hey, 
coi chừng đó con ơi thằng kia We're out. What? It's empty. Give me that. Go ahead, go. Okay, back me up, alright? You got it. Okay, don't get up. More obstacle delusions, right, Latello? Thanks. I owe you one. Yeah, take oh. it easy. Right. Ciao. <laughs> Come on, let's rest here for a while. Hey, round boy. How'd you learn how to fight so good, huh? Cliff notes, Latello. Hey. How do you work these things, huh? Well, according to Stoddard's Guide to Modern Weaponry, you eject the spent clip, you pop the fresh clip into the chamber, pull back the cocking mechanism, and you're ready to rock and roll. What do you say? Smart, Latello. Very smart. <laughs> Latello. Come on, put it down. Would you put it down? Who are these guys, huh? They must be mutants. From after the apocalypse. Maybe he doesn't exist in our dimension, bullet head. But because of relativity, Jimmy, I don't care don't... about relativity anymore, so shut up, you fat toad. Get your hands off him. Yeah, if it weren't for him, we wouldn't be here. Oh, look, we're almost there. All we gotta do is get up the back stairs and we're at the lab. Yeah. All right, I'm flipping Bluto. Come on! What is that? I don't know. My ears are ringing like the gong show. I can't hear nothing. Whoa! And I don't see that, neither. Charmin? Got me, Mike. Oh, terrific. The answer man is stumped. This plant has been extinct for, for 60 million years. Yeah? Well, I ain't never seen one before. You gonna make it, Vinny? Me? I'm so scared, I'm thinking about God.
believe it. I just don't believe it. I just want to be home watching cartoons. Stop talking, okay? It's my allergies. <laughs> That's it. I've had it. I'm going in. Back me up. Vinny, what are you doing? Why are you playing Come that? Come at me! Let's go! Hey, Vinny! Hey, Vinny! Hey. You okay? Yeah, I think so. Where's Vinny? I don't know. I don't know. Oh, oh. Seventeen years of TV down the drain. Yeah, I got you. Come on. Uh, here you go. My leg. Yeah. Sucked up. Sherman, just shut up. You're making me nuts, Sherman. You're making me crazy.
Germany's got her! Germany's got her! She okay? Man, she don't look too good, Sharp. Oh, God! I just didn't know if I only knew about... Yeah, okay, sure. I'm looking. Can you walk? No, Ellie. The question is, can you run? Oh. Uh, oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, I can, okay. Okay, let's go. Come on. You're all right. For a wimp virgin, I mean. <laughs> Come from a grease ball like you. <laughs> I take that as a real compliment. Hey, look. Listen. No one says nothing about this, okay? Yeah, okay. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay, Come on, get out of here. Easy, easy. All right, I'm coming. I'm coming. Come on, come on. So it's out, right? Hell no, we won't go! Hell no, we won't go! Chicago! 
Mr. Roberts? Bob? Flower power, children. Beatle concerts, anti-war rallies. I'll be dipped in shit. What happened to you? I was blasting through the warp on a time tour of the 60s. I don't know what even to say, man. Like, I mean, trip and trip, man. It was. <laughs> What's your name, cowboy? Robert Roberts Esquire to you, honky. That a fact. Well, Miss Esquire, where the hell have you been? Woodstock. Boinker. Woodstock. Woodstock? What's Woodstock? Okay, Captain Kerr. Well, it's not Boston Pops. Now, you got an E in your science project, Michael. I do? On one condition. What? Get rid of the gizmo. Oh, right for me. The world is not ready for space and time. Right it's only for such rare individuals as myself. And the future is a groove, man! I made sure of that. It's a funky valley eye. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, easy on the fringe, Kojak. You were close to town. I mean, we can walk it. Wait a second, Michael. How is that lucky? I mean, if we walk into town, the whole world will know that your car broke. Hey, 